Well, Tom, um, what is your reaction to, to what happened today? Shock. <laughs> I'm devastated, uh, uh, frustrated. But we're being very careful to follow the High Court in England, make sure we're following their rules. But uh, I'm very disappointed. Disappointment, the, the main feeling in, in your mind? No, it's hurt my family tremendously. Uh, this was a very valuable asset that was swindled away from me in an epic swindle. Uh, I'm not, I'm very angry about it. How has this whole sale process impacted on you personally? We know how it impacts on you in a business sense, but how personally has this impacted on you? Well, my family members and I have been working very hard to solve the, the issue. I mean, we, we know there are better owners around the world that should own Liverpool Football Club than the Boston Red Sox group. Uh, we knew who they were. We were frustrated every time we would have conversations with them. We'd have people in our own organization somehow uh, have those things not work out. And you know, we, we really, our desire was to have Liverpool in the hands of the pro proper next owner that would build the stadium and make Liverpool the, the top club in the world that it deserves to be. Is that what it was about for you, picking the right owner? Because I think you said earlier this week, or certainly read a statement from you earlier this week, to say that you've accepted now that this, the club would be sold. Is, was it about getting the right? I, I accepted the club was going to be sold back in April. The only question was when. And the Royal Bank of Scotland wanted it done the day after. And there's no reason for that. This is Liverpool's very healthy financial performing club. It covers its interest fine, has a little bit too much debt, no question. But we were going to fix that, and uh, uh, we were frustrated by others. But I think if the right owner would have paid Gillette and Hicks a fair price and would have had the resources to spend on players and to build the stadium. Um, you talked about the debt. Has that been one of the biggest sort of millstones around the neck of this club? Oh, sure. I mean, it, well, it hadn't hurt the club at all. It's been a millstone around the fans' reaction to it. But uh, there's been so many inaccurate numbers about what our interest bill is. And, you know, we've had uh, plenty of cash, plenty of operating income to cover our interest payments with much, a lot of room to spare. We've invested. George and I put in $270 million into the club. Uh, we spent uh, over $300 million gross on players, about $150 million net on players, and you never hear that in the media. That's always kind of disappears in, in, in all the noise and anger. And I accept the fact that something went wrong with my ability to communicate with the fans, and uh, uh, I'm, I'm saddened by it. I wish people had more accurate information. Uh, I've given you a fact sheet that has all the accurate information of what happened in the last four years. Can you understand the fans' anger and the fans' what's the word fear, if you like? I really can't. I mean, I'm I'm not a novice to being in the sports business. I've been in it for almost 15 years. At the, whether it's hockey fans or baseball fans in the U.S. or football fans in Liverpool, what people want to do is win. And uh, you know, we had a bad year last year. Uh, I think Rafa lost the club. I think his leaders were angry with him about stuff, and uh, they didn't play as well as they have. We had some tough injuries. Uh, I mean, we didn't finish at the top, but that's not the fault of the owners. I mean, we spent the money. There was a time when uh, the feeling coming from the manager at the time, Rafa Benitez, that, that he was hand-tied and yeah. was a little bit hamstrung. Is that a, well, is I, wrong I, I, read, I read a very interesting article recently from uh, Sir Alex Ferguson who said uh, uh, Rafa had more money than any of the rest of it did. He's, he just bought bad players. Uh, uh, Rafa uh, never wanted to take accountability for his own results, and he would he would blame the owners. Well, you know, Alex Ferguson doesn't do that at Manchester United. Other top managers, you know, you never see uh, people do that. Uh, Wenger doesn't do that at Arsenal. We look behind you here and we see the uh, the images of the uh, of the proposed stadium that caused so much. I think of the of the anger with the fans. What? The six, what spade, spade in the ground in 60 days. Absolutely. What? 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 You know, George said at the, that at the opening press conference because that was our plan. We we had a uh, design that had been done now some 10 years ago uh, that we 
thought we were going to build, and we had the financing lined up to get it going in the first couple of months. Uh, what we learned after closing is the we hired the best sports architectural firm in the world. They built the Dallas Cowboys' new stadium here, which is probably the finest stadium in the world. They've built m many others. They built the baseball stadium, the American Airlines Center, and they told us those plans were obsolete, and they would not give Liverpool the ability to be a world-class club. So we started over. We got new plans. We spent over 30 million pounds uh, developing an, this stadium, and uh, we got had to start over on our planning permits. We got all that done. We got judi judicial review in the UK, and it all got finally done, not four years ago, but it got done in uh, the mi middle of September 2008, and I think it was within a day or two of when Lehman Brothers went bankrupt and the entire fin global financial meltdown started. So we lost our financing. But there's plenty of financing there to build a stadium today in today's world.